I have a question based off the running that was just mentioned. Okay. So are you familiar with, uh, I think it's Greg Lehman or Lehman, the PT talks a lot about like, um, I know, I know, I know of him. Yeah. He's okay. So I know he, he's talked a lot about pain science and, mm -hmm. um, he mentions a lot about running and how once you become into more like cyclical or endurance longer, like low level activity, the, um, spectrum of form or like biomechanics becomes larger um, as you go from like the left side would be like a one rep max squat to running like a marathon like you can get away with more um, of these discrepancies with longer duration what are your thoughts about whether or not you agree with that or you still think like position and um, like the pelvis and rib cage still plays a huge role with those longer type activities? Well, you, you still have to manage position and, and internal forces. There's, there's, I mean, you have external forces, you have internal forces. And then the question then becomes is, is what, what type of structure do you bring to the table? So there's certain people that, that make good runners. They tend to be a little bit more, more linear in structure. They tend to be more, built like a piston versus, you know, I would never take somebody that, that's built like a linebacker and, and expect them to become a good distance runner. So I wonder if there's an element of self-selection there. When I get good at it, it just turns out that structurally I'm okay with that. Um, you know, I, 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 I'm not going to comment on, on anything that Greg says because I just don't know him, nor have I read anything that you're talking about in, in that regard. Um, what there may be associated with somebody that is attracted to that type of activity is that they may inherently have greater variability within their system. Whereas when I am performing a, a strength oriented type of program where, where that is my goal is to maximize my strength, I actually need to reduce my variability a great deal, a great deal to be successful. So, that's why you tend to see the, you know, some of the, your better power lifters that you'll, you'll meet, not the best movers, great squatters, great deadlifters, great bench pressers, but maybe not the greatest movers in the world. And so again, there might be an element of, of selection there. There may be an element of, okay, just the activity that I've chosen allows me to have greater variability. If my aerobic capacity is higher, I tend to have better variability than somebody that is, that is anaerobically trained. So there's a lot of elements that, that play into this. Um, but again, I don't, I don't want to, I don't want to counter anything that, that, that Greg has said. Um, and you know, it might be his experience and that's what he's talking about. So again, I don't, I don't have, like a, a research at the tip of my tongue that would support any of that. But again, just looking at the elements of and influences of training, how the nervous system behaves under certain circumstances, that might be the case that allows that to happen.